Hi, in this video I am going to walk through some of the, one of my favorite tools for creating audiograms for podcasts as well as transcriptions. So I run the Happy You Are Here podcast. I don't want to get too much into that, but one of the places where a lot of people listen and watch the show is on Facebook. We share full episodes like this one right here, 900 views, I think 300 of those were past a minute, you know, that's how Facebook works. Uh, what really works really well to spread the key ideas in these podcasts are these little audiograms. So as you can see, this one has 500 views. This one has 1.4 thousand, and these are relatively new. It's kind of all over the place. This one has 43. This one has eight so far. Uh, but what's I get a question a lot of how we create these, and we create them through a software called Descript. So I'm going to show you real quick what this looks like if you don't already know. The only way that someone will go into hypnosis and even agree to be in that suggestible state of mind is if they trust me, if they have rapport with me. So they're coming to me knowing that they can completely. So I used to create these manually. I would, I'll show you an example. I think this one's actually manual. Hope Avalo can be is that low risk place that somebody can go when either one. Which is okay, but it would take, you know, maybe a half an hour per one of these videos for like a minute long video to do which with Descript, because it's primarily a transcription software, uh, we remove that barrier. So I am going to go over to the Descript website, and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how to create those audiograms and also how to create the transcriptions. Now, Descript, first and foremost, is actually an editing software. So as you can kind of see in this video that is clicking through, their primary thing is that you transcribe the video and then if you delete a word in the text in the transcription it'll actually delete the audio and there's also an automated feature that will go through and delete all the ums and the ams and that kind of stuff you can even do it with video so it'll line up the video and cut that as well it's incredibly awesome and they're making improvements all the time i highly suggest you check out their website if you're not already watching this video because you're considering using them the pricing is free to start out with three hours of transcription ends up not being that much for someone that is running a podcast but it's a great way to try it out try out the tools for free and then i use this creator plat uh plan which is 15 dollars a month or if you pay for it annually it's 12 dollars a month and you get a little bit of extra things if including exporting original assets which is what i'm going to show you with the audiograms that's an important feature to have there are some free versions that do things like this, but the transcriptions are pretty lacking and you basically have to go through and do the entire transcription manually anyway. They also have this $30 a month plan, which allows you to do overdub where you can actually type in a word and basically using the audio from your voice that you've recorded, it will create that audio in your, in your so basically you could automate, you could type an entire trans, uh, blog post or something, and then you could have that narrated in your voice, which is pretty cool. I haven't tried that yet, but I've seen some videos that they've made uh, that are pretty cool. So let's actually hop into Descript here. So Descript is actually an app that gets downloaded to your computer. It's pretty powerful. Most All the storage is stored on the cloud, so you have like cloud storage that you can use. And as you can see, I use this a lot. I use this for myself, and I use this for some other clients as well. But if we go and create a new project... Uh, let's see, let's, let's actually do this with one of the podcasts that I'm working on so I can get some work done while I'm showing you this video. Um, I need to get myself more organized. Every once in a while, I'm organized and then it just slowly falls into chaos, which is what is currently going on. So Jane um, Egerton is someone that we are going to have on the podcast soon. Now, this Zoom link here should have both of our audios already connected. And there was a little bit of lag issue, which is going to need edited out, but we'll go ahead and use that one. And I'm pretty sure I misspelled her name, but we are going to just run with it, and then I'll make sure I spelled it right before I post it live. Okay, so once we're in here, you can, like I said, start typing, and if you have the overdub, that would create that voice for you. But we're going to drag and drop or choose our file here. And let us go. Um, it's not letting me go up. Let's go find that video, the Zoom video. And here we are. 
and it'll add the file and it, it doesn't usually take very long to do this as you can see it already popped up and it already knows it already comes up with the transcribe because that's kind of the main thing that it does so I'm gonna say detect speakers because this will allow us to automatically label the speakers which is pretty cool that way when you post the transcription to your website or something that's automatically done you tell it how many speakers there are and you say transcribe there's also you can pay to have them transcribe it manually uh, and they do a really good job it's a competitive rate to rev.com if you've used any of that um, which is really beneficial because you can do that and then you can have a lot more power with that transcription once it's here you can export it as an SRT file for subtitles or captions you can create these audiograms that I'm about to show you you can edit the thing so it's kind of way more powerful than what rev.com can do even though I do really love rev.com um, the script has really kind of changed the game there's no no one else doing something quite like this and it's pretty cool so as you can see as I'm talking here it's preparing the file it doesn't usually take too long I will cut this if it, it goes on too long and then once the uh, upload is queued it'll start transcribing there it goes and any second now it's gonna tell me that I can start to identify the speakers okay as you can see it popped up here and it said multiple speakers detected identify speakers so I'm gonna click on that and what that will let me do is says get started yeah, yeah there's and around and say you know if you're in a situation so that's my voice and I'm gonna say Craig and Zana so now it will label every time I'm speaking within the transcription it'll say Craig and Zana and then it'll show that automatically it's not perfect there's still a little bit of okay so women in Korea issues and then this is Jane's voice are... so I'm gonna paste her name right there um, I should really double check that I'm spelling her name right. <laughs> and I know that I'm not because I just typed that out right after our meeting. And she's from Nigeria. So as an American, <laughs> those names are hard for me to spell. Uh, but I'm, I'm doing my best. And now into Descript. Uh, there we go. Hit Enter. And like I said, this usually runs a little bit smoother than this. This is because I'm also recording this video. So now, as you can see, we have the composition title up here, which I'm just going to change to her name. And it's transcribed everything. I can go ahead and play at any point. And let me... Well, I have the video, so it's going to be a little rough. But as you can see down here, within the timeline, it's jumping to... So if I jump way down here in the transcription... And she said, Craig, but you did a good job. There you go. See, you can see the actual audio waves right there. And I could cut something out, and it would cut it up here. And you can switch between correcting the media, which means it's editing, versus just correcting the text, which means it's editing the text but not editing the actual audio uh, that's down there below. What we really want to pay attention to, though, before I dive off into a million tangents, what we really want to pay attention to in this specific case is we're going to create a, an audiogram. So normally I would find a really good kind of quote that they said, but I think in this specific case, it's going to take a bit to do that. So um, this is a good one. Now, as you can see, it's underlined, you know, you know, well, you know. Um, so what we can do is over here where it has the actual name uh, of the composition, if we right click on the ellipses, we can say remove filter words and if you have the free plan it'll remove all the ums if you have the creator plan or above it'll allow you to choose a little more granular of which words you want to filter and actually if there's a, a word that they don't have that you want to filter you can type it in up here and it'll find it um, and here yeah you can delete audio without affecting video I don't care too much about that in this instance so I'm gonna to apply to all and it's gonna go through and it is going to delete not only out of the transcription but also in the actual audio all of those filler words which you may or may not want to do some people like to keep those in there um, I like to keep a balance of it um, so from here that's me talking I don't want to get me
I'm going to highlight a section and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say clip to composition new and what that's going to do is create a new composition over here over here <laughs> that is clips from her video and you could create as many as you want but what this allows us to do is really fine-tune this audiogram that we're going to create and this is showing the video that's not relevant to this specific instance and let's see how long is this you want to make sure you're keeping it under a minute long if you're going to be posting it on somewhere like Instagram so 30 seconds is a really good uh, amount and what I would want to do is I would want to say correct text I don't want to edit the media but I want to correct the text to make sure that this is correct now like I said all transcription softwares when they're automated you're gonna get some things wrong Descript does a really good job of getting it pretty close almost perfect it's probably about 95 to 98 percent correct so there still are some errors that you kind of have to go through usually it's more to do with punctuation than actual words but especially if someone has an accent like Jane does. Jane Jane's pretty clear though, so I would imagine she's not got not not too much of an accent um, as far as like the transcription goes. So let me just go through this real quick, and then we'll show you how to turn that into the actual audiogram. This ended up actually being a really great quote. So what we're gonna do is call this sphere of in influence by Jane Egerton and we are now going to export it as the audiogram so what we will do is go up to file and then say export and from export this is where I could export the transcription to then plug into the website I could export subtitles audio video I can send it to premiere all kinds of things I can share a project access with somebody, but what we are concerned with is the audiogram. So as you can see, I actually just created an audiogram recently for uh, this company Zeal that I work with. They are great here in Omaha. And this is giving me a few different options here, but what we're gonna click on is audiogram, and this allows us to scroll through some templates, which they're adding new templates relatively often. Um, I really like these are nice if you just want to have the text and stuff, but basically depending on the, the design of your thumbnails, it's going to really matter. So let's go ahead and use this one. We are going to bring this back to the happier here color. And we can change whether or not we want the speaker label to show, or whether we want the composition title to show. I'm going to get rid of the, I'm going to get rid of both of those in this case. And no badge now I actually don't have a background per designed for her yet so what this allows us to do right here where it says background image is we click on it and it'll allow us to upload a thumbnail so let's go back and we'll just use the previous thumbnail for Marco and as you can see I always design thumbnails so they're uh, horizontal so that it'll work for YouTube it'll work for my website but also all of the actual important information is in a square box so it'll work for the podcast thumbnail and it will work for things like this. So as I upload that, as you can see, it just cuts off the sides and it's already designed to do that. And now I like this one the most because it adds that the, the words right over their face. So it kind of looks like they're talking and it's kind of big and central that, oh, this is a moving video. It's not just a um, still video and it's also not just an audiogram it's actually a subtitled audiogram like all of that information is really quick for the the viewer to comprehend and then there's all kinds of different options here but that works best for us I'm actually gonna make this darker there we go and we're gonna say publish And now what this will do is it allow us to jump over to this link that they create and it'll process and it does not take very long to process at all. Um, it might because I'm recording this video. Okay, and actually I just realized you don't have to uh, click on the share button. It actually will pop up into your downloads immediately. So we click on this video. 
So I, I use that framework a lot, even now as an adult, even now that people say you're successful, there will still be situations where you have a lot of options and you really have to decide to focus on the ones you can control and start to work on those ones and try to worry you know, less about the things you can control. Perfect. And as you can see here, this would allow you to download it. It'll open up as a new tab. So I use that. And you can click on this down here and say download. Adult. But we don't need to do that because it already downloaded. So then you would go to Facebook and you would upload that. You could also upload it to Instagram if it's short enough. I really like to use Hootsuite to schedule posts for Instagram. So you, if we go to the Happy You're Here Instagram page. you can see that we you know post these videos and you know right now we actually don't do much on we do much more on Facebook than Instagram um, but that just gives us kind of some content that then we can share onto the stories I actually do a lot more on my personal page but I don't like cl cluttering my page with these um, these audiograms so I'll just link them from the other thing and then share them in my stories. Anyway, I hope that's helpful and introduces you to Descript. Descript, uh, for $15, I haven't found anything comparable that has the same quality of transcriptions and also kind of that efficient workflow. And, and I know that it took a while for me to walk through this because I was introducing it to you, but really it takes me like 15 minutes to do this once I, once I get used to it. Or uh, you can always hire someone to do something that, is using Descript. Our company does that. We have podcasting editing services uh, where we can edit your podcast. We can also create transcriptions. We can create show notes, all that sort of stuff. And we do use Descript as part of what we do. So we can implement that exact process that I just showed you for your own episodes. Uh, so if you want to, if you're interested in that, check out the link, the description down below. There will be some links with info on those plans and what that looks like, or just feel free to reach out. And if you have any questions, you know, leave those in the comments below and we will do our best to answer those. Or you can always email me at craig at inzanamedia.com. Thanks for uh, watching. I hope that was helpful and I will be sharing some other helpful tools that I use to help promote the Happy You Are Here podcast and use to record. It's taken a long time trying many, many different softwares for all these pieces of the puzzle. So it's pretty cool to finally have a workflow that's working really well so that we can focus on really improving the actual quality of the show as time goes on and engaging with listeners more, which is really the end goal. It should be the end goal for all of us. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in another video.